what about the women da'is, uh, those who are in YouTube, especially uh, for the women, for them, is it allowed for them to have a lectures in YouTube? Well, I've, I've addressed this uh, um, uh, earlier in my talk, and I said, this defies the hijab. If the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, use your logic, huh? don't use yani, halal haram concepts, I'm not going to go to this. Because we can dispute over it. But use your logic. If Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, women who wear anklets, you know, anklets in their feet that makes a sound must not beat the ground with their foot so that the sound would not come out and men would listen to it. The woman is fully covered. I don't see her, she's somewhere. But when she walks, there's a tingling sound from her anklet, sometimes from her high heel. And as I'm giving my back, I hear the sound and I get shaitan whispers. Whoa, this woman is like five, six, and she weighs like 55 kilos, and she's maybe 29 years of age, maybe. And shaitan makes things because of this sound not seeing anything. If Islam tells us that a woman coming out of her home wearing perfumes, Coco Chanel 5, and men, non mahram, whoa, what is the smell? Find the scent, find the fragrance. The prophet says, this woman is a fornicator. Ooh, why is that? Because men are tempted. So if this is all to protect women, when the Prophet says, والسلام, the worst raw in the masjid of men is the last. And the worst raw of women in the masjid is the first. Why? Because they're close to each other. Well, the best raw of men is the first and the best raw of women is the last because they're far away from. If they in the masjid, now you tell me, a woman coming with her face, all expressions on her face of joy, of sadness, of anger, of, and I'm looking at, wow, beautiful speech. What is this? This defies the hijab. Why are you covering your hair? Might as well take it off. Unless your hair is, I'm not going <laughs> to say anything that incriminates me. They say, oh, you racist, you're talking about women's hair. It's a beautiful hair, mashallah. Put Dabra Amala. Good for you. Anyhow, so this defies the purpose of hijab. You want to do da'wah? Hire an auditorium, sit with 500 women, give them da'wah, lecture them, give them a conference, give them a workshop, be my guest. But once you come on the videos and men look at you, you're sinful for that. Allah knows best.